Okay, welcome to the shop. Let's talk shop policy. Recently, I've had a lot of questions pertaining to what my shop policies are. I make handmade goods. Those things are made personalized. They're made custom just for you. They have your names. They have your logos on them. If you don't want them, I can't sell them. I can't do anything with them. They're just a waste of material sitting in my shop. So, because of that reason, I do not allow refunds, cancellations, or exchanges on custom-made items. And like I said, that's mainly just because if I put your name on a deck box, unless you've got a pretty generic name, nobody's going to want to buy it. It's just the way it is. Number two, uh, those materials cost money. They cost quite a bit of money, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But the point is, I'm out that money, me, if I give you a refund on a personalized item that I can no longer sell. So, no. Just, that that's not how that works. And that's, that's a pretty common policy across a lot of handmade item type of stores. If you go on Etsy, which is where a lot of us sell, uh, there's most, probably most people don't offer refunds or exchanges or cancellations on custom made. That brings me to the next topic price. I've been uh, told lately by several people that a lot of my products are overpriced and I disagree and a lot of people on the flip side of that will also tell me that I'm really cheap. So let's give this a breakdown real quick. I made Leo Morricelli from Frog Leap Studios in Norway, a guitar strap. I've got a lot of traffic from you guys from that video. Thanks by the way for all the new subscribers. It's freaking awesome. But I sell those guitar straps for 350 bucks. That seems like a lot of money for a guitar strap when you can just go down to Guitar Center and buy one for $10. You know, that's got a cool little, like, radioactive symbol on it or whatever. But it's not personalized, it's not custom, it's not leather, and it's not good quality. My stuff is. My stuff is personalized. I'll put your name on it, I'll put your logo on it, I'll design it however you want to. It's custom because of that. It's made out of high quality leather. It's lined with a really good quality leather. It's, it's hand stitched, hand done, the whole nine yards. So first off, let's get into the price of materials for this and I'll explain to you guys kind of how this works. Uh, if you go on the internet to, to Google and you search uh, how to price handmade products, predominantly what you're going to be told is you buy your materials, you multiply that cost by three, and that's what you sell it for. That's generally what I do, give or take a little bit. The other is you buy your materials, you take that price, and you figure the number of hours it took to make that item, and you charge 20 bucks an hour. I could do that, and that would be a lot more. And I'll give you that breakdown in just a second, too. I'm going to show you guys the materials that I buy for... A guitar strap. I buy a three inch wide leather pre-cut strap from Tandy Leather and the reason I buy them from Tandy Leather is because it's the only leather shop here in town where I live where I can physically walk into the store and look at the product before I buy it. I don't order these things online blindly. I want to know if they're going to have bug bites or brands or any of that kind of stuff on them. And I typically avoid buying those, those pieces of leather that are poor quality from the beginning. That's better for you guys, it's better for me and my reputation, it's better for the shop. It looks better in the end, and I feel better about it knowing that I got to go in and hand pick the product that I am going to use. If I were to order it online from some random leather place online like a bulk wholesaler or whatever, I could probably save a little bit of money, uh, but I wouldn't know if that piece of leather was going to come to me as high quality as if I went and picked it out myself. So I order that, 
Uh, I don't. I don't order that. I'm sorry. I go into the store and I and I buy that personally every time. I go in, look at the leather, pick out the one I want, and that's the one I bring home. While I'm there, I go ahead and pick up the rest of these products also. But this is a list of the things that I buy from Tandy for the guitar straps that I sell. This does not include the strap locks, which I believe are somewhere between ten and twenty dollars a set. Uh, it does not include any of the paints, the dyes, or the curing chemicals like the finishers, or the glue, or any of that kind of stuff. That is also very expensive. This, this list does not include that. This is just a rudimentary, like, base hardware list. Uh, and you can see it's $145. Now, if I were to take that and multiply it times three, like I said earlier, it'd be a $450 playmat. I'm selling them for $350. That's already $100 less than what I should be selling them for as a standard. So, you guys that are complaining about my prices being too high, I get it. It's a $350 guitar strap, but it's a luxury item. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to have this one. You can go down to Guitar Center and buy your little radioactive, you know, looking black and green canvas uh, guitar strap that's probably going to work for you, and that's fine. But this is a very custom, uh, one-off, nobody else is going to have this guitar strap. It's hand-sewn, it's made out of leather, they're heavy, they're durable. Like, you're probably never going to wear this thing out. Uh, that's, just, that's just what it is. I mean, I'm happy to make them. I enjoy making them. I'm sorry there's so much money. I wish the material components were not as much. I wish they were cheaper. And then I could pass that along to you guys. So if you want one with bug bites and brands all over it and it looks like crap, sure, I'll down, downgrade the quality of leather that I'm getting and I'll blindly order some stuff off the internet. Fine. But, you know, for me and what I do, I prefer to have the highest quality product to begin with. And I take that high quality product that I start with and I put, put out an even higher quality end result for you guys. So take it for what it is. I'm sorry it's so much money. Uh, if you consider the number of hours I put into these guitar straps, the average is about 20 hours to make one guitar strap. I mean, they're four hours just to sew. Uh, these are hand stitched. You know, I sew them with one piece of thread. I don't have a sewing machine. You know, it's it's two needles, one on each end of the thread and back and forth through the, all the holes, all the way around. It takes four hours just to sew it. Uh, if I were to take $20 an hour times 20 hours, that's $400 plus material cost. That's even more than the $450 just from tripling material cost, which is even more than what I'm charging to begin with. So, anyway, enough rambling. Hopefully this is uh, a bit of insight as to why my prices are what they are. And, you know, hopefully you guys better understand what I deal with as uh, a handmade item crafter, seller, maker, whatever. Uh, and hopefully that lets you guys have a little bit better appreciation for even the prices that I do have. I mean, like I said, I'm sorry they're so expensive. I cannot help the cost of leather. I mean, it's expensive to begin with and, and just it is what it is. So anyway, Check out my Facebook page. Uh, if you haven't jumped over there, hit like on that. Subscribe here on the YouTube channel. That means a lot to me. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful even a little bit, hit the thumbs up. You know, let me know why. Tell me uh, in the comments below what you think I could do to fix my pricing structure, or you know, if you have a better plan for my shop policies. Um, if you think there's something better to do there, just let me know. Uh, share this video with your friends. And let me know what you think, and we'll see you guys in the next one.